Hello guys, this is Sergio here. Uh, it's going to be a quick, quick tutorial. I'm just going to show you how I getting my animated uh, humans so I can use them in 3D RPGs videos. So I was using Cinema 4D, uh, but uh, since I want to speed up things, I just look for um, some scan models. Usually the models they used to use in RPGs videos. We have a lot of sites uh, like Axis and Render People and RPGs People. We have um, tons. So you can buy them or you can find them some free models here. Uh, for instance, in this um, renderpeople.com, you have uh, freebies, free TD models, and you have uh, Danny's, Maypost, and then you have Eric uh, and Allison. These ones are already rigged. So uh, it's always good for this in this way. I'm going to show you guys how to do. Uh, it's always good to have the T pose or at least the arm separator, not having the model like with the hands in the pocket or holding something because this will not work with the mixa mode this is one of the things we go uh, one of the softwares we're going to check out uh, to make the animation so uh, go ahead and download uh, a file uh, this uh, specific site like render people has lots of output formats including unreal engine 4 directly but uh, let's do fpx so or 3d max or uh, let's do one format that we'll be finding uh, uh, the most common uh, because not all of the, the, these sites make available all these formats so we don't know the FBX so after you get the download done you can open and uh, you will receive um, a couple of FBX one of these FPXs is uh, posed with the arms wide open, so we're going to use this one. And then go ahead and if you don't, if you haven't um, registered in Mixamo, you could do that very easily. Just uh, connect your one of your accounts, and uh, you'll be ready to go. And uh, here, uh, what you have to do is make to go to animations and upload character. Uh, you select your character here. Uh, you can select uh, like uh, Eric rigged. If uh, the character is not rigged uh, already, if it's just a simple um, mesh with no bones and a rigging structure, uh, the program will auto rig the, the, the mesh for you. You will be presented with a, a screen, a very simple screen where you can drag some points to the joints and the chin and some um, main areas and then automatically it will rig it for you. That's why it's, uh, this is a cool uh, software, it saves you a lot of work. So after you select the, the, the character, it will upload and then it will show up here, okay? So you have uh, a lot of animations showing uh, here under this uh, window in the, in the left. So if you search like, uh, imagine you wanted someone talking to the phone. So talking, and you have, this one, uh, these ones are female poses, so I think this character will not work so well. Uh, let's, let's experiment this one. So, uh, it's a little funky. <laughs> um, or another one, like talking, phone, pacing. Let's see. Okay, this one's nice. Here you can control the overdrive. The overdrive is the strength of the cur animation curves, uh, or the C motion curves, as you wish. And uh, if you uh, push it up, you can see uh, the character already begins to accentuate and be very uh, fast about what he's doing. Uh, this is actually speeding up and uh, making stronger the, the animation uh, lines. So uh, we'll leave this uh, a little bit lower than 50%. So okay, it will be calmer. And uh, here you can control the arm space and you can trim the animation. And in some other packages, you can actually control other uh, other features uh, that I don't recall at the moment. But 
uh, you can control emotions and etc. So after you are happy uh, with the animation you want for your ArcGIS model, you just uh, download character, you choose FPX, uh, you choose width skin, uh, you can choose the frames per second, it could be 60 frames per second, uh, it will be smoother animation depending. Okay, so let's download. It will take a, a few minutes to do it because it's uh, wrapping up things up. Okay, so I will show it in folder. I will cut and bring it to my uh, folder. Okay, so I, w I have already done a standing greeting FBX, and now I have talking phone pacing FBX. So the next thing you have to do is uh, go to your Unreal project. I have uh, like a light studio here, just so you guys to see the character. I already have a character here, loaded up. So it's the same one. So I'm just going to grab um, the new FBX, uh, talking and pacing over phone. I will push it here. Okay. And yes, we can preserve some of these groups, etc. So I think it's okay. Import animations, cool. Import. Uh, all of these uh, models uh, usually come with uh, the textures. Uh, this model came with uh, diffuse or um, uh, no color texture, uh, also glossiness textures for uh, specular, uh, some masks, and uh, you have normals. So uh, I've created the material, I bring those textures inside my project. So I created a material here, very simple material. I decided to do like the base color, the glossiness for the specular with one uh, as a roughness value and connect it directly with the normals and save it, it's okay. So after that, it's the normal stuff. You just import your animated character here and you put the texture in it. You just wait a little bit. Loading the texture. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Okay, actually he's missing the phone. <laughs> Uh, you can put a phone in, in his hand uh, in a normal 3D program if you know how to do that. If you don't know how to do that, uh, you're just making some artist stuff, you just want models lying around and walking around, you can just uh, choose other poses, uh, other sea motion um, paths and gestures, and like standing, idling. Uh, if you search here in Mixamo, you have a lot of uh, idle Posures, for instance, then can be uh, this one, very simple, just standing with a, a soft movement, I believe. Uh, something wrong with his arms, maybe you can spread the arms a little bit further from the body. Uh, okay. Okay, maybe not this one. Well, it depends on the model, but sometimes, as you can see here, um, the elbows are, are not uh, <laughs> are not very very natural. Uh, actually, it's quite funky. But um, you yeah. have okay. He's a happy dude now. Let's remove the overdrive. Okay, let's see where you're going. You just have to explore this library as tons of animations. Um, some of them are good for ArcV's uh, type uh, poses, some of them aren't. So you just have to, even these ones that are uh, orc idle, uh, you can um, you can try to adapt them. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. <laughs> Let's see another one. Okay, this is like uh, office uh, office break, playing catch or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but you gotta play. So that's it, guys. Very simple, um, and there are a lot of free um, 
free models available, you just have to look for them if you don't have the money to buy them. Um, there are also other ways to get them, of course. But that's that. So thank you and see you next time.